Do you feel that you have a different personality in English than in your native language? This might sound like a strange question, but I think most of you can relate to the idea of not feeling like the same person in English as the way you feel in your native language. Have you ever felt like a completely different person when speaking English compared to when you're speaking in your native language? Maybe you feel more like a robot speaking English and really feel like you have no personality. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Grant, and I'm a business English confidence coach. For many years, I've coached my private clients to become confident using English so they can feel the freedom to do anything they want in life. I'm making this video because I can say that almost every client I started working with had a completely different personality in English than they had in their native language. I want you to know that if you feel like a different person in English, you're not alone. <laughs> this feeling is real. <laughs> the good news is that you can do something about this and you can start feeling the same in English as you do in your native language. When this happens, you will really change your life by becoming confident in English. As many of you know, my mission is to change the lives of millions of people by giving them the confidence to feel the freedom to achieve their dreams. In this video, I will explain my experience with my clients as they change from quiet, shy, not funny, <laughs> and not confident to really interesting, funny, and full of life people. <laughs> Let me start by taking a look at the, the four reasons why people have a different personality in English. Number one have a lack of confidence in English. Number two, a fear of making mistakes. Number three, difficulty, showing feelings and emotions. And number four, a feeling of so much stress. Let me go through each of these a little bit. When you feel a lack of confidence, this is true when you have a lack of confidence doing anything. And so if you're not confident in your English, of course, you feel like a different person in English as compared to you feel confident speaking in your native language. And the key then is how do we work on that confidence? But understanding that when you're not confident, you don't feel like yourself, you don't sound like yourself. And as I said, there's something you can do about that. The second reason was Fear of making mistakes. When we have a fear, we're just trying so hard not to be wrong. When we're speaking English, we never relax. It's always this constant, I better not make a mistake. And that creates a big problem in your personality. The next reason is that you have difficulty showing feelings and emotions in English. You, you focus so much on trying to get the words right that you don't focus on having some feeling in your message and what you're trying to say. And instead, it's, oh, I must get my grammar right and I must have my the right words here and I better be perfect. <laughs> There is no perfect. But what happens is there's no emotion when you're speaking English in this situation. When you add emotion, then things really start to change with your English. Finally, there's a feeling of having so much stress when you need to speak English. 
and many clients have told me this many, many times. They have an English meeting or a big presentation in English, and there's so much stress, even taking English classes or courses. And they they feel it coming on and coming on, and they just get stressed when they know they have to speak English. That's a big reason why you don't feel the same in English as you do in your native language. Now, what are you going to do about this? Well, here are four strategies to start feeling like yourself when you're speaking English. Number one, understand and accept that it's normal to feel this way. Number two, practice speaking English regularly when there's no pressure. Number three, focus on communicating your real message and not focus on trying to be perfect. And number four, speak with feeling. Let me go through each of these a little bit. You need to understand and accept that it's normal to feel this way. Everyone feels this way. You start to learn a new language, and even after some time, you still, there's so much struggle in learning a new language that you just feel like a different person. You don't feel like yourself. But really understanding that everybody feels this way and it's not just you is a really important step in trying to do something about this. Next, you want to practice speaking English regularly when there is no pressure. Part of the reason why you feel differently is because there's, you feel so much pressure when you need to speak English. And when you can just start practicing on your own, and there's many things you can do to practice on your own. You can just be at home and speak out loud. You can record yourself speaking, but just speak and speak with no pressure. Speak with your English teacher, your English tutor. Watch my videos, listen to me and speak. When there's no pressure, then you can start using English and it really works. Next, you wanna focus on communicating your real message and not trying to use English and try to speak perfectly. And what I mean is, like, stop worrying about being perfect. <laughs> I made a video about this. And I think if you haven't watched this video, there's a, a link to it up here. But it's a great video. And the whole idea is stop trying to be perfect. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your perfect English. Nobody cares about your bad English. So focus on communicating your real message. Don't worry about your perfect grammar and your perfect vocabulary because nobody cares. <laughs> so just focus on trying to communicate your message to somebody else. And to do that is the last point here, which is you need to speak with feeling. To really communicate a message, you have to add feeling to it. This is a very important project. Wait, there's no feeling. There's no communication. You just sound like a robot. This is a very important project. Oh, now you get somebody's attention. So practice speaking with feeling. It makes a huge difference. You speak with feeling in your native language. You don't have to be an actor. Just speak. Speak with some feeling, as you do in your native language. Do the same thing in English. It really works. Here are four reasons why you benefit by being yourself in English. Number one, you're going to build stronger connections and relationships. Number two, it's going to be way less stressful if you're just being yourself. Number three, people will feel your confidence at work and you will benefit. And number four, it's more fun <laughs> to be yourself in English. Enjoy it. <laughs> Let me touch on each of these as I go through. To build stronger connections and relationships. You know, when, when you sound like yourself, People will trust you. When you don't sound like yourself, 
people don't trust you. So <laughs> just start enjoying English. Start using English. <laughs> start feeling like yourself when you're speaking English. And when you're at work, it's going to benefit you. People will trust you. The next reason is it's, it's so much less stressful just to be yourself. When you're trying all this perfect English and everything else, you're not yourself. Just be yourself. It's a lot less stressful. And again, this kind of goes back to always enjoying trying to use English. You're not curing cancer here. You're just using English as a tool to communicate. So relax. It's just English. The next reason is that people will feel your confidence at work and you will really benefit. When you're not confident, people will not be confident in your message. And what I mean by that is that sometimes when we're not confident using English, the people we're speaking to think, oh, oh, uh, he's not or she's not confident in the message uh, she's giving me. What's going on? I don't know that I can believe them. But instead, you're just scared of your own English. So be confident. Be confident in your English. Be confident in your message. And the other people will trust you. And the other people will do business with you. And you will benefit. And finally, it's just more fun. <laughs> enjoy English. You've got all this stress and you're trying to be perfect and all these things. Just enjoy English. Speak like you speak in your native language. And the first part is just trying to do that. I find most people never try to have fun using English. And I've made a video about that before. But just try to have fun using it. Try to be yourself. Just enjoy English. As I said, it's just a tool. It's a tool to communicate. So enjoy it. Have fun. You can do this. Let's take a look at everything I've talked about in this video. When you feel that you're a different person when you're using English, it's really important to understand that you are not the only one that doesn't feel like yourself when you're speaking English. Everybody feels this way. And I think it's really important that you understand you're not the only one. The good news is there's something you can really do about this. By focusing on practicing speaking with feeling and emotion and not worrying so much about trying to be perfect, you'll find that you can start being yourself in English. Also, you want to focus on trying to communicate your message and stop feeling stressed about Oh, your perfect vocabulary and your perfect grammar. Remember, English is just a tool to communicate. Relax. Have fun using English. And you will quickly see. You'll be the same person using English that you are when you're speaking in your native language. Please like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Share your comments. And I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.